Welcome to the I Am Worth It Project. Tammy Sugar here and today I'm going to share with you five ways to give yourself an immediate boost before you start your work day. Are you ready to find out those five ways? Let's head on over to the studio. Here we are at the studio, home of transformation for women. Five ways to give yourself an immediate boost before starting work. Okay, on this channel, I want to educate, elevate, and empower women to stand up, speak out, and live at their fullest potential of, as a worthy, wealthy woman. Now, if that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button, tap that bell so you get notified when my next new video comes out. But let's talk about this because this is one of my favorite topics. How do you prime your mind for success before you head out uh, the door to work each day? Because mindset does matter. So number one, you have to have a morning ritual. It doesn't have to be long and it can be as simple as this. I've trained myself that when I open my eyes, the first thought I have is, oh, thank God I'm alive. That means I have hope for today. That starts my day off on the right note, on a positive note, because I'm grateful to be getting up and out of bed. You can also listen to a little audio that reminds you of the things that you want to accomplish that day, but it's up to you to create that positive mindset. Number two, this is what I call one of the cultural fairy tales. And I noticed it in the corporate world. Everybody hated Mondays. But guess what? They loved Fridays. They were living the I hate Mondays and I love Friday lifestyle. I calculated once, I think it's about seven years of your life in Mondays. So imagine you hating Mondays, that you're actually hating over seven years of your life. That is not good for you. Every day is a good day, including Monday. Use the top three daily actions. It, I'm telling you, I say it over and over again, but you're creating a feeling of, of accomplishment, which means you're making yourself feel good. And why wouldn't you do, it, do that? Plus, you're increasing productivity and reducing stress. What are the three things you want to get done? And choose them at the end of the day so that when you come in in the morning, you don't have to hesitate. You're ready to start kicking it. Number four, you are never really stuck. Let me say that again. You are never really stuck. It's a story you're telling yourself, right? It's a story and you can write a new story for yourself. When I was 36, I was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. And I was in the doctor's office and I asked him, am I going to die? And he said, I don't know. I don't know. And in that moment, I had this overwhelming sense of regret. Regret for the things that I hadn't done, that I hadn't said, but most importantly, for the things that I would never, ever have an opportunity to become. You know, those dreams that we keep stuffing down because we tell ourselves we're, we're stuck, we don't have the skills, we don't have the money, we don't have the people to support us. At any time, you can start a new story because in that moment, I made a commitment that if I lived... I would never have that feeling of regret again. And the way you get to that point is you tell yourself a new story. You create the story you want to live. And five, hey, I was in the workplace for well over 30 years. And believe me, it doesn't matter where you go to work or what kind of industry you're in. There's always going to be difficult people. And guess what? Maybe on some days, you're one of those difficult people for somebody else. So here's the thing. You can learn how to deal with difficult people. And then it's not such a big deal. And I'm going to give you my most favorite tip that I have for dealing with people who are incredibly difficult. And when I've tried all the other solutions that didn't work. When that happens, you go in and when you're dealing with them, you say to yourself, somewhere there's someone that loves that person, even if it's their pet. So you know what? You can be nice enough because somewhere there's someone who loves that person. So let's do a, a recap of how 
you can start your day before you even hit the office. Have a morning ritual. Don't live the Monday to Friday lifestyle because Monday's a good day too. Have your top three actions ready to go when you hit the door. You're never really stuck. That's just a story that you make up for yourself. So you're not stuck in that job. There's good things about it. Number one, you're getting paid. If you want to leave, you can, and you can write a new story. And number five, there's always going to be difficult people, no matter where you go, even if you own your own business. So if you, if you find someone who's incredibly difficult, just repeat to yourself, somewhere there's someone who loves them. It's really hard to be mad at someone when you're thinking that. Okay, I want to hear your comments about getting ready before you hit the door and go to work. How do you prime your mind for success? Hit like, drop me a comment, email me, Tammy at IamWorthItProject.com. Go to my website, I Am Worth It Project. And here's the thing, right now, pick up your golden crown of worthiness, reclaim your place on the throne, because you, you my love, are worth it. <laughs>